Hello there everyone. Now today is a very exciting day. I'm about to meet up with a fellow biologist, Emily Cooper, and we're going on a daring adventure. We're going on a bear hunt. How are we doing, Emily? Excited for the bear hunt? We're not going on a bear hunt, Benito. Huh? Benito, there aren't any bears here. Can you see any bears? No. We are going on a bee hunt. A bee? For the last time. A bee hunt? We are going on a bee hunt and you're gonna like it. Bee, bees aren't interesting. How dare you say that to me? Well, you're gonna have to convince right, me, I'm afraid. Then. I'm not very happy about this, Emily, I must say. So on our walk, we've come across these beehives and so we thought what better thing to do a video on than bees because they are one of my favourite animals. As you probably know, bees are massively important because they are pollinators. So entire ecosystems are reliant on their services in order to thrive. From a more selfish point of view, they're also important economically because a lot of different food crops rely on insect pollination for their growth. They actually have their own type of language. Well, kind of anyway, it's called the waggle dance. So when one of these bees comes back from a foraging trip, it'll go into the nest and start wiggling its bum. Now you might wonder what on earth is that for, but actually that's communicating very, very specific information. The angle of the waggle tells you the direction of um, the good food source in relation to the sun and how much it's waggling tells you the distance the bee's mates would need to travel to find that delicious food source. So it really is a very, very sophisticated system indeed. Bees are facing a multitude of problems in the wild and they are all because of us. As usual, humans are being terrible. So problems like neonicotinoid pesticides are massively impacting wild populations of bees. In fact, there aren't actually any wild honeybees in England. So hives like this are so important to maintain the pollination services that they provide. <laughs> There's a bee in my hair and it just stung me on the floor. <laughs> I can hear it. Where is it? I can hear it in my hair. Hang on, let me pull it out. Hang on. Okay, okay, hang on. I'm gonna get um a twig or something. Sorry, it's not gonna sting you again. Well, I hope not. But he's not breaking my ear. Hang on. Time to go away. <laughs> okay. Right, it's gone. <laughs> 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 Now, even though Emily being stung is pretty funny, and there is the sting that was in Emily's scalp. It also teaches us a valuable lesson on evolutionary biology as well. More specifically, the evolution of altruism. Now, altruism is all about being nice to one another. Now, it may seem logical that being selfish is the best way forward in the natural world, but actually, a little bit of mathematics and a little bit of evolutionary theory show that altruism can evolve, and that's never more obvious than in the social insects, the ants, the bees, and the wasps. What we're seeing here are loads and loads of workers and they're there to basically maintain the colony. They don't reproduce themselves, they're there to help the queen reproduce and she really is an absolute baby machine. And all the workers' job is to attack any potential threats, which in this case was Emily. <laughs> Unbelievable. And the reason why they're doing that is because they're all related to that queen. So it actually pays for them to help her because by the queen reproducing, the workers are actually getting some of their genes into the next generation, even though they are not reproducing themselves. The bee that stung Emily sacrificed its entire life for the future of the super organism that's the colony. Now that is what I call loyalty. How are you feeling now, Emily? Not so good. No. <laughs> I think it's time to go home. I'm not feeling very altruistic. <laughs> Well, I must say, I think you did deliver the goods on this bee hunt, Emily. I've got to say, I've learned an awful lot. I've learned about the ecological impact of honeybees. I've learned about the evolution of altruism, you know. I've learned about the sophisticated communication system that goes on inside the hive. It really has been very, very productive. What have you learned? Never to come out with you again.
Ooh, as you probably know, bees are massively important because they pollinate all sorts of... <laughs> and, you know, in a time where, you know, a lot of people tend to be quite... What am I talking about? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. I love nature. It's great fun. 